been portrayed. But this is going to vastly improve that area. Well, there's a number of ways it's going to improve things for uh, seniors, for people trying to walk to the store, the walkability, the, the visual impact, the security and the safety, the trucks, the traffic on Roslyn Road. These are issues I've been hearing about for 13 years. But what about, I mean, the, it sounds like some of the comments today said it wasn't necessarily about how the building looks. It's that one company gets to now occupy a space that we initially there were three businesses there and that that kind of takes away, you know, storefront space is hard to come by in Osborne Village. Yeah. So, well, how would you respond to, to those concerns? No, it's true. Like I said, 100% of everything that's happening is not positive. There are losses here. Uh, the question is, what can we as a city do to address uh, the issue that's put in front of us? We have to make a decision. If we were to turn down this development, we could have those buildings knocked down and anything slapped up without even a public hearing. That's the situation we're in. What has come forward is a um, Shoppers Drug Mart was willing to twist and turn and bend the development to meet all the requirements of the neighborhood plan, all the many of the concerns that were raised about you know, you can say it's just the appearance, but you know, there is going to be local business lease, lease uh, a local business can lease or